All right, I'm gonna do this with my phone. Uh, my son wants me to make a video of this. There's the old 40 over 350 that supposedly was rebuilt, which it is. There's the one cylinder that wasn't sucking oil past the intake valve. All the rest of them look like that. See the movement? I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, can you see, it's sitting on the back of the three-point on my old tractor. Uh, I got a kid coming after it. It run fine, carried oil pressure great. Uh, didn't really have any blow-by. The heads that were on it were 441 casting heads that were just junk. Uh, there was no valve seals. I thought he put O-ring seals. There was no umbrella seals, no nothing on them. Uh, the guides were loose, so... Anyhow, I got a kid, I, he's going to give me 300 bucks for it and get rid of it. I went out to Wellsville, Kansas, which is about 30 miles kind of uh, southwest of here in Kansas City. Where I live, right, I'm just like five minutes from the Kansas Speedway. And I bought a 72 Chevy half-ton four-wheel drive. It's got probably $1,000 worth of Super Swamper tires and wheels under it. And it's got about a... 5,000 mile uh, 402 big block in it. I went out and listened to and drove and played with a little bit with the guy. And the body on the trucks, the cabin front clip's good. The bed's really, really rough. And uh, I gave him a grand for it. And I'm going to go pick it up Tuesday. Me and my 15 year old. But I'll show you in here. See if I can do this. As you can see, there's no motor in the truck. It's gone. All there is is a transmission. I said it's sitting out there on the tractor. There's some and the rest of the mess. But I actually used two snatch blocks because I didn't have a whole my engine hoist over here. I just used two snatch blocks and an A-frame and use the uh, winch on the front of the truck to pull the motor out with. So, anyhow. Hush up, you crazy dog. Before you have a coronary. I don't know if I ever put on here or not. I might as well put this on here because my son will say something if I don't. I think he needs to make these videos instead of me. There's my dually. It used to be two-tone silver. And uh, it's what I call the, like a uh, paint pimp says on there. That's ghetto fabulous what that paint job is. It's that damn Duplicolor uh, paint shop base coat. It's the dark emerald green and the mineral gray. And then it's got six coats of 496 uh, nascent clear coat over the top of it. It ain't been wet sanded, it ain't been buffed, it ain't any shit to it. And I ain't going to do anything to it because it's a work truck. Uh, I just sound real good. Took it to bare metal where it had surface rust. Sealed it, primed it. Put four coats of primer. We blocked it out with 400, then went to 600, and I shot it. So, but... Yeah, it come out really good. Got a little orange peel on the sides and the fender right here. But like I said, I didn't fix every little dink in it. And uh, I got one little sag on the other side. Uh, on it. Right there. I got a sag. So I'll knock that out with some, with some 1500. It looks good enough for me. Like I said all I use this for is to pull, haul junk cars with, cut wood, haul with, that haul the old tractor down the street and to mow the other property. That's about it. 
but I will uh, I'll make another video and put up uh, once I get that truck here Tuesday show you what it looks like let you listen to it and then I'll uh, I'll make a video of how the big block swap is going to go on that S10. Uh, I've done it once before on a two-wheel drive truck that we narrowed the frame on and it was actually, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, if you use a four-quart pan like off an older Chevelle on a big block, it, it tends to be a lot easier. Uh, I used a set of Patriot headers for a 67 Camaro and I uh, had to dimple a couple of tubes and I wrapped them with header tape which is a no-no because as soon as you wrap headers with header tape what happens they burn out you know so I burn out a ceramic coated set of headers like that uh, to keep them out the steering column uh, took the column loose at the firewall put a piece of uh, eighth inch plate in down there and moved the column over to the inch to the driver's side one inch and down one inch and used a steering shaft out of a Jeep because it has two U-joints in it instead of the rag joints. And it, it's a direct bolt-in. But uh, other than that, that's all that's going on. I will put another video up with the big block build as soon as I get started on it. Thanks a lot.